I haven't thought about that bag since, isn't that crazy? A bag that I was so obsessed with finding that once I sold it, I haven't even thought I about decided it. it was more sensible not to have something staring at me from the shelf and making me feel guilty because it was very hyped and I fell into the hype and I fell into the FOMO and I bought it because it was all over social Hello, media. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's go through the 10 recent luxury items that I have sold, why I sold them, all the good info. And the first one of those is the Chanel Trendy CC. This bag is so stunning. It's so beautiful. I loved looking at this bag on my shelf. But that never really translated into using this bag. The whole time that I had this bag, I used this bag once. And it was one of those occasions where I had to remind myself to use the bag. I wasn't looking to use it. I didn't seek it out. I didn't try and put outfits together with it. It just was a bag that I loved the look of, but never ever used. And it's one of those bags that I have to remind myself regularly. That didn't work out for you because it's so pretty and I like the aesthetic of it that much that I will see versions of that still and think, oh, I would like another one of those. And I have to remind myself how much it didn't work and I didn't use it. And that's really the reason that I sold it. I think when I sold it, I was buying other bags. Did the Trendy maybe go towards the Birkin? It definitely when I sold it, the money from selling the Trendy CC went to other purchases and it bought other bags that I love more and I use more. Most of the bags that are in my collection now, I'm happy to say I am using. The Trendy CC just didn't work. Number two, and this shocked so many people whenever I sold this bag. This shocked me when I sold this bag. The Houndstooth Chanel 19. I was obsessed with this bag. Before I tracked this bag down, I bought the wok because I wanted the print that much. Then I found the 19, I bought the 19 as well. I accepted I didn't need both, but I even struggled to let go of the wok at the time. I loved the Houndstooth print of this so, so much. Why did I sell it? <laughs> I just didn't really use it. It's one of those bags that when I was hunting for it and when I was obsessing over it, I couldn't get it out of my mind. I just loved it. But when I actually got it, I think I used it once the whole time that I had it. I can remember going to Dublin with it and I don't think I ever used it again. I found it quite difficult to style. The houndstooth print is quite distinctive and I found it quite difficult to match up. Also, I was a bit concerned and I'm not somebody that would be overly concerned about wear on bags, but the tweed on that bag is on the outside and it's a loose tweed and those types of tweeds are going to show a lot more wear than a tighter tweed. So I was conscious of it rubbing or the wear on the back maybe starting to ball. I don't even think that's the main reason though. I just didn't use it and I just kind of realized towards the end you can't have that amount of money sitting on your shelf that you never use because that bag was expensive you can't you just can't have it sitting there so I sold it I don't regret selling it I haven't thought about that bag since isn't that crazy a bag that I was so obsessed with finding that once I sold it I haven't even thought about it that is blowing my brain a bit but I haven't missed it I haven't thought to use it I just I sold it and I'm pretty certain that when I sold it, I just put the funds back into my luxury fund account. I don't think it was specifically for another bag, but it went, the money went into the account and I haven't regretted selling it. Number three, another one that shocked you guys was the Chanel bucket bag. And again, a bag that I absolutely loved the look of. I thought it was so pretty. I swore at a time I would never sell that bag. I also swore I would never sell the Houndstooth 19. I loved it that much, but I just never used it. I think I've had to realize that the bucket type of bag isn't the best shape for me. It's not the one I like to use the most. When I had it cross body, I felt it was a bit bulky. I didn't really hand carry it that much. It just it shocked me how little I used the bucket bag and how much it sat on my shelf. And I had to come to a point where I realized and spoke to myself and said, that needs to go. That's too much money to be sitting there and it's gone and I don't regret selling it. It went to a lovely subscriber who I'm still in touch with and I don't regret that one at all, even though it's a very, very beautiful bag. I actually think when I had sold the Trendy CC, the bucket bag and the Chanel 19, I had bought 
the pink denim decompressed jumbo type bag. I had bought the pink epi leather petite mal and another bag that I'm going to be unboxing with you very soon, last October time. And I think I sold those bags to recoup some of the money that I'd spent on the new ones that I had bought in. Number four, I sold the Louis Vuitton twist. The Louis Vuitton epi leather bright yellow sunshine in a bag twist and I absolutely loved it. The only reason I sold that bag it was a direct comparison to buy this one. So whenever I saw this, oh look at her, whenever I saw this bright bright yellow Dior saddle bag in the new version with the strap I fell in love with this but I am trying to be a lot more mindful with my spending and having a look around this room. So whenever I bought this I really couldn't justify two bright yellow bags. Now I know before someone tells me I have about 50 million pink bags but that's okay. With the bright yellow I didn't need to so I sold the bright yellow epi twist to buy this one and again that's another bag that is with one of my lovely subscribers. Number five I sold the royal blue Louis Vuitton sunglasses. I loved these sunglasses. They were beautiful. The only reason I sold them is they were too big on me and they slipped right down my nose and I know people had told me that it was safe to take them into the optician and try and get them to tighten them. I did take them to my optician. He was very reluctant to do anything with them. I suppose he didn't want any liability if anything went wrong. And then I got a bit scared, I suppose, of trying to play with them and tighten them up. So in the end, I sold them. Another lovely subscriber has those and I just, they were just too big. I didn't know when I bought them that there's different sizes of Louis Vuitton sunglasses and the smaller size is obviously the one I needed to buy. Number six, I sold the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. No. <laughs> How I struggled to sell this was because this was a gift from my husband and my sons and I really needed some counselling with myself over selling this one, not to be dramatic, but I really struggled to, to sell that because my husband doesn't buy luxury. We don't buy these types of gifts. He's not interested in luxury, so the fact that him and my boys had bought me that wallet made it very difficult for me to sell. But when they bought me that wallet, the thinking behind it was they were buying me something I was going to use every day. So whenever I used it, I thought about my family. Fast forward to the reality of that situation and I never ever used it. I always used Direct Reverso and I have the long coin card holder from Louis Vuitton and I just didn't get on with the Victorine wallet. I found the zip part for the coins very tight. I found it tight to get my cards in and out of. I just didn't enjoy using it the same way I enjoyed using the Recto Verso or the other one and eventually I decided it was more sensible not to have something staring at me from the shelf and making me feel guilty that my family bought me but rather to sell it and to use those funds for something else and put it to good use and that's what I did in the end. Number seven is the Louis Vuitton reverse monogram card holder. I never should have bought this in the first place, that's why I sold it. There you go, complete and utter honesty. This is one of those pieces that came up on social media. It was the reverse monogram version of the flat card holder. I don't really like reverse monogram. So why did you buy the card holder in it? <laughs> because it was very hyped and I fell into the hype and I fell into the FOMO and I bought it because it was all over social media and I never should have bought it. I remember even when I opened it, I didn't really like it. I just don't really like that print. So I never ever should have kept it. It's perfect card holder. I have a pink version of the same card holder, which I love, but the reverse just didn't work. So I sold it on and I put the funds towards my fund for luxury to buy other things. And I don't regret that at all. I have to say that none of the things that are on this list, I regret. These are all things that were thought through that I really had taken some time to decide on and none of these are seller regret items. I'm glad all of these have gone to new homes that are loving them more and I have used the funds for things that I'm enjoying more. Number eight is a Louis Vuitton mini pochette and a lot of you are going to think I'm absolutely mad for having sold this. When I was doing my last vlog sale, to be honest, the reason I sold this was because the price of these are crazy and I was kind of thinking that I have all these pouches and a hair. Hmm. I have all of these pouches. I have the multi pochette accessoire, which has the two different pouches. I have two limited edition mini pochettes, the London one and the Paris one. I have the toiletries. I have so many pouches that I didn't need another mini pochette and I was keeping it just to have it. I was keeping it because it's a popular item. It's a hot item and to have it in my collection, even though I have two limited edition ones. This was a plain one. And in my mind, I had reasoned out that I was keeping the plain one to have the plain one. 
Then whenever the price of these went to about £530 or whatever they are, I kind of thought, right, you have one of those sitting there that you don't use and you have plenty of other pouches to use. If you left it in another room, you would forget all about it. So sell it to one of your subscribers and give them a chance to get it for below retail. So when I was doing the last vlog sale, that's what I did. I included it in the vlog sale. I sold it under retail. It was like brand new condition and somebody got a chance to get one at a better price than what they are selling for today. Number nine is I sold one of my my Louis Vuitton shine shawls. I used to absolutely love these things. It's not that I don't love them now, but I just don't really wear them now. I have a couple still and I take them on holiday. I think they're very good for cooler evenings on holiday when you don't need a jumper but you just need something so I keep them for that but I don't wear them anywhere near as much as I used to and I had one of them that was brand new I had never worn it it was probably not the right color for me and I decided in the end why are you keeping that I kept keeping it thinking well I I need that sometime or I wear that sometime but that sometime was never coming and if I did need a scarf I have other things that I could wear so I sold that and I sold that and I sold the next item <laughs> to put the funds towards another bag that has arrived not that long ago and you will be seeing at some stage and I sold a number of things both luxury and not luxury for to put the money together for that bag and that's where that shawl went and absolutely no regrets. And the last thing that I sold <laughs> I sold my Prada Sherling shoes that my husband absolutely hated. And I'm not somebody that normally cares what he thinks. He does not like a lot of my wardrobe. My husband would be more understated, would be more probably elegant, probably classy look. He wouldn't go for as many bright colors as me. He wouldn't go for as much monogram or labels or in your face. <laughs> they do say opposites attract. So <laughs> normally whenever he doesn't like something, I don't care. It, it, but he normally doesn't not like it to that extreme. It's not normally that of a strong reaction. He hated these shoes. He absolutely detested them. And it just put me off wearing them. Anything else he's ever commented about, like he, he thinks that's very bright, but anything else he's ever commented about has never been that extreme or to that level. These shoes he detested, he hated, and it just put me off them. If I went to put them with an outfit and I was going with him, I knew what was coming and I knew what he was gonna say and I knew the look on his face and it just became not worth it. And I ended up wearing those shoes once for a very short period of time. And then I just never worn them again and they're too expensive to be sitting there. They were like brand new and I just, yeah, it put me off. It put me off trying to wear them, put outfits together with them, knowing that he just detested them that strongly. And it kind of edged off my love for them a little bit. So I sold those as well. And the money from those also went to this new bag that's maybe in here somewhere that I haven't even really like accepted myself yet that I have bought, but she's here and I will show you at some point. But that's where the money for those went and no regrets because I just couldn't really listen to him. Now, I still wear my short Ugg boots a lot. And I think he gets those easier because they are casual. I think his thinking was Prada shoes at that price in those. I don't know what it was, but it just didn't work. So no regrets on selling those. And they're also with a happier home. Those are my 10 updated luxury things and items that I have sold recently and why I have sold them, why they didn't work out for me. I hope if you're looking at any of these, this is a little bit interesting and gives you a bit of insight. If you haven't finished watching me yet, I'm gonna leave another video for you on the screen that you might enjoy. Thank you so much for being here. Please give this a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.